What's going on everyone? A couple things going on in life. Had a fourth unexpected child. So been MIA, taking care of him and all the kids, my wife. Um, to all you guys out there, get your vasectomy checked. So to TMI, maybe, but uh, yeah, that's a thing. But today we are on our way from Colorado Springs to Glenwood Springs to go into the Flat Tops Wilderness. Doing a little three day, two and a half day trip in the mountains solo. Got to uh, get the Jeep back in operating form, uh, check things out, give in it a uh, mile. Use the right two lanes to take exit 194 for Colorado 470 West toward Grand Junction. Got to get it figured out, got to get it ready to go uh, for the summer trips. Got about seven trips planned this year. It's going to be a good time. So you're going to be joining us. So let's go. Tell you this it is not going to be a very warm camping trip it is 53 degrees right now it's 1 30 in the afternoon um, and i'm about 9,000 feet and so i'm going to close to 11,000 feet to camp you lose about three and a half degrees per thousand foot so we'll just round up to uh, eight degrees i'm going down so right now we're looking at about 45 degrees and the low at night is uh Supposed to be about 30, 25 to 30 degrees. Good times. I'll tell you, Colorado weather is bipolar. We went from snow and sleet, rain, to now we got sunshine and better weather. It's crazy. Colorado is crazy. you guys Colorado does not miss this is unbelievable look at this unreal Colorado never disappoints it's like in Jurassic Park some of the world unbelievable So I made to Glenwood Springs, down there, and uh, we are on Transfer Trail. This is the trail road that you take getting into the Flat Tops Wilderness. So we're heading to a lake there. Um, starts off just a dirt road, uh, well maintained, it's got some washboard to it, um, but it's supposed to get more moderate as we go in. Um, I've never done this trail before, so we're going to do this together uh, for the first time. 
Um, but it's supposed to be really beautiful. It's supposed to feel like another world. I know driving in from Denver on I-70, um, it definitely feels like a different world. Um, I felt like I was driving through Jurassic Park. It was pretty wild, pretty crazy. So anyways, we're gonna get back in the car. We're gonna get going. Uh, there's some rain off in the distance. Just saw some lightning over there just a second ago. So we're gonna get going and uh, hopefully that's making its way away from us and not towards us. Simple dirt road getting to this trailhead, um, but then it gets uh, supposed to get a little bit more technical. Nothing crazy by any means. Um, anyone with a four wheel drive, uh, high clearance should be able to do it. I'm on 33 inch tires with a two and a half inch lift um, loaded down. So we're gonna give this a go and uh, let's see if we can make it to our destination. far into this trail and it's very uphill and uh, I've had my hot oil light go off um, meaning that there's uh, the transmission fluid is running real hot which can cause damage so stop for a few minutes put it in neutral and just let it idle revved a little bit put some rpms through it um, so that went away and so started rocking and rolling again and now my engine light just came on. So, it's not looking too good. I don't understand why I'm having this many problems. I'm glad I'm having these problems alone. Uh, though, I mean, having another vehicle would be great, but at least my kids aren't with me or anything like that. So, we're gonna sit here, let it chill for a minute, and then we'll get going again. drift is probably you know two and a half feet but people put these big old logs try to give them traction but logs don't actually give you traction when they're wet <laughs> it actually defeats the purpose so I finally ran up back up back up back up back to slowly working the drift down and then I broke that massive log free and so I was able to move it and create a track for me to go through. So, oh, that was not what I was expecting. I was this close to quitting because, again, I do not have a winch and I don't have anyone with me. 
and all I've seen is one dirt biker and that was a long while ago so here's the hoping there's no more of that I'm about at the top so any any snow would be in these tree shaded areas which I'm running out of so let's keep going well I'm feeling a little defeated I could not get to where I wanted to go uh, there was just so much mud and snow and uh, I got through a couple spots that were already a little shifty um, and so then made it to this other spot and uh, it looks it looked so clear beyond it um, but it was, so, it was just so slick because of the ice and the mud and uh, there's a big stump that uh, was pulled or a tree that fell um, and the stump was right there and uh, every time I try to get past it I just about slide into the spot so I feel a little defeated but um, I do have a really nice uh, view tonight uh, so I'm getting I'm getting the tent and everything set up I'm not going to deploy the awning tonight just the breeze and everything I want a chance of it uh, blowing and snapping so um, gonna make a little fire here uh, here in a little bit cook some dinner um, and uh, yeah so this is the view for tonight not too shabby if I might say so myself So this will be my home away from home for the next tonight, possibly two, if I decide to stay. Anyways, let's finish setting up. A few mosquitoes out and about so hopefully we'll be able to get rid of some of them once we get this fire going here of course high altitude doesn't want to have fun All right, for our dinner tonight, we're having ravioli and garlic bread. So we're gonna get all that stuff out. Easy peasy. All right, let's get to work. Salt. All right, we're gonna let this boil. Get the bread fried. And we should be eating good in the storm is going away from us. So hopefully we get some good sleep tonight. Fingers crossed.
Well, day one, night one, did not go as expected, but still a good time, still relaxing, sitting by the fire, having some food, really not bad. So in the roof nest, gonna watch a movie uh, and then call it a night. Clouds are ahead, there's some wind blowing in, so I'm not gonna hang out outside. See you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. It is about 7.30, 7.25. That was a rough night, I'll tell you that. That much is for sure. Oh, man. So windy. The tent was shaking, the car shaked. Rain came in about 2.30. rough but let me get up make some coffee make some breakfast let's go birds are chirping blue skies we got a gas fire this morning used up all my firewood last night uh, didn't uh, feel like chopping down any trees to make more plus there's really no dead trees around me so so using the little red campfire this morning um, but once again, trip is not going according to plan. So I've experienced um, car trouble where, you know, the hot oil um, alarm is going off. Uh, my engine light's going off. I uh, almost got stuck in mud and snow multiple times. Um, so I'm not camping where I wanted to camp. Um, rough, rough night of sleep last night. And now I don't have coffee. I packed up coffee creamer and I packed up coffee mugs, but I didn't pack up coffee. So water it is for breakfast. I'm tired. That's all right. It's so beautiful. So for breakfast, we got uh, eggs that we're going to get going. We got fresh blackberries and then we got this peppered thick cut bacon um, from a farm, um, some friends of ours. Uh, Red Barn Farm. If you don't, uh, if you don't know, now you know. Um, so, anyways, gonna cook this up, have some breakfast, relax, throw the drone in the air, because uh, this really is a beautiful spot. There's a river off in the distance uh, with a waterfall that I I could hear rushing. So I'm gonna try to capture some of that. Um, and uh, yeah, good morning. Let's go. Well, it's 10 a.m. I'm not sure if you can see it. 
but there's another storm rolling in. And I don't feel like spending the day in the tent. So we're gonna call it quits. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna head home. You know, you can uh, you control what you can control. Don't worry about what you can, I suppose. Still an awesome adventure. Gotta do some off-roading. Transfer trail is, is definitely more difficult than uh, I expected. Um, you know, you got your easy, your intermediate, your hard. It's certainly not hard. It's not easy though. So it is in the intermediate, um, on a, maybe even the higher end of intermediate. Um, so do not try to do transfer trail if uh, you don't have a modified vehicle, uh, bigger tires, lift, things like that. And make sure you come with recovery gear. Um, I might try to come out here uh, later on in the summer um, when all that snow melts to try to get up to that lake that I wanted to do, but we will see. So anyways, um, yeah, it's an adventure. Y'all know the drill. Adventure's calling. Are you going to answer? <laughs>